Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Art Gross, and uh, whoa, 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 I, I reside down the street here with the coyotes and stuff like that. No more porcupines. But we do have uh, woodpeckers, we have owls, we have coyotes in our backyard, and behind the fence line over here off of 169th or 173rd and Nebraska, not Nebraska, New Hampshire, that wooded area in there. I'd like to speak one minute about that area. We have with us tonight a hero of Hesville. There was a painting company that was going to put some paint in that wooded area. This lady, Roxanne Barton, so many years ago campaigned Hesville and defeated the paint company from putting a chemical place over there. No, the, uh, huh? She did it. No politician cared. Nobody cared. But this lady cared and had the faith to believe that it would destroy our wildlife and our neighborhood and our way of life in this town. It's ironic how things go. When I was a kid, I thought adults were responsible people. As I grew older, I seen and seen I was becoming much more like them. It's ironic how this problem has existed so long that you would think that they would give us options a year ago, maybe three or four. This is how much money we could get from the state of Indiana. Thank you, Indiana. And this is what three options we could do. But it didn't arise like that. Munster has a beautiful underpass. And Munster, they have a beautiful underpass, but you know, and they're gonna have a good train station there and everything is gonna be beautiful. But they they got an underpass. I don't see what the problem is with the underpass. They raised the raised the train. Right. Raised how much is stocks in the railroad company? Can anybody in this room really afford a hundred shares of stock in, in the railroad company? I doubt it. They yeah. got the money yes, to do how it. How many people have been through that underpass in Munster? What? How many people have been through that underpass in Munster? How many people have, she wants to ask how many people have been in, under that beautiful underpass in Munster? Yeah. It is gorgeous. Yeah. And it's great excess north and south on, on, on Cayumet. That's what we need. And we need something like that too. I know it's, you know, we got a lot of train tracks so that needs to be you know, issue, but they're not so serious as they are in our area. In our area, there's better solutions than raising a bridge for us to walk on and have to walk a mile to get to the excess ramps. So my time is up, but uh, just to remind you that this lady, what she did worked, and I hope something like this might work in the mayor might reconsider and say, you know, maybe we do have some options, the deadline's not until such and such time. Maybe there are a couple more options we can have. Let's look into them a little bit better. Maybe the contractors they have in mind, well, I don't know. The wrong ones. <laughs> it's all about money. Good night.